hello viewers uh, welcome to my channel uh, today's topic is uh, what's heart attack or the myocardial infarction a heart attack uh, results when the blood clot completely obstructs uh, a coronary artery so coronary artery is supplying the blood to the heart muscle and the heart uh, so when it blocks, it doesn't supply it to, uh, uh, the blood to the heart muscle and the uh, heart muscle dies. Uh, now the blood clot that causes the heart attack usually comes from uh, the site of the rupture of an uh, uh, atherosclerotic uh, cholesterol plaque on the inner wall of the coronary artery. You know? And the most common symptom of the heart attack is chest pain. And the most common complications of the heart attack are the heart failure or the uh, ventricular uh, fibrillation, you know, and the risk factors for the uh, atherosclerosis and the heart attack include like uh, uh, elevated level of uh, cholesterol, you know, and uh, increased blood pressure levels, and uh, tobacco use, or diabetes, you know, or uh, being male, you know, and uh, family history of the heart attack and, uh, at an early age, you know. So these are the common risk factors. Uh, the heart attack. Uh, uh, is diagnosed with uh, electrocardiograms and the measurement of the cardiac enzymes in the blood, you know. And the, if once diagnosed, uh, the treatment guidelines emphasize the treatment uh, at a hospital capable of uh, doing the PCI. So PCI is a precautionous uh, coronary intervention, also termed as the stenting or the stent placement, you know. Now, the early reopening of the blocked coronary arteries reduces the amount of damage to the heart and improves the uh, prognosis of the heart attack, you know. Now, the medical treatment for the heart attack may uh, include like uh, antiplatelet or uh, anticoagulant and uh, clot dissolving drugs, you know, uh, as well as the uh, agnotensin uh, converting enzymes, also known as ACE, you know, inhibitors, and the beta blockers and oxygen, you know. Now the interventional treatment for the heart attack uh, include like coronary angiography uh, with the precautionous uh, uh, transluminal coronary angioplasty, you know, known as the PTCA, or uh, the coronary artery strength and uh, coronary uh, artery bypass, you know, uh, grafting. Now the patients suffering from the heart attack are hospitalized for several days to detect heart rhythms, disturbances, uh, shortness of breath, and uh, chest pain, you know. And the further attacks can be prevented by aspirin, which is a blood thinning medicine, you know, and beta blockers or AC inhibitors or uh, discontinuing the smoking, you know, uh, weight reduction, exercise, and good control of blood pressure, you know, and diabetes and uh, uh, low cholesterol and uh, low unsaturated fat diet that is high in omega-3 fatty acids, you know, and uh, taking multivitamins and with an increased amount of folic acid and decreasing the LDL which is a bad cholesterol and increasing the HDL which is a good cholesterol you know so these are the measures you can take and uh, you can uh, adopt the healthy lifestyle uh, to prevent further heart attacks thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day thank you and goodbye